Hi guys, I'm Isabel from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you both. Um, congratulations on the seventh series of Outlander. It's Thank fantastic. you. fantastic. Um, and it's really epic this time around. I mean, I think you've got like 16 episodes in this one, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. It's a long one, yeah. It's, it's, um, yeah, obviously season six, we had to cut a little bit short, so we've made up for it this season. Um, and it definitely doesn't disappoint. It's a very, very big one. <laughs> And so, uh, obviously for you, Sophie, stepping back into sort of Brianna, I think as we leave the end of season six, we see you expecting a second child. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously we see that in this series, however that goes, it's not without its challenges. So what can viewers and fans kind of expect from your character's journey this time round? Well, I think this time round, whatever's thrown at Brianna, she's a lot more equipped to deal with it. Um, she has been through so much um, as a mother and as an individual. And uh, yeah, as you say, mothering is never without its complications. And especially in a time period where you don't feel like you have the community around you or the means around you that you would have in the 60s or whatever. Um, but this season is that there is a, there is an added complication that comes into motherhood with Brianna, but she really takes it in a stride. She is an absolute mama bear. She is a fighter and she will do anything to protect her kids. Um, but what's great in this season is that Roger and Brianna as a couple are much stronger as well to deal with it together. Um, and so it's just nice to see that love story, that Jamie and Claire love story then passed on. It's almost like passing the baton to the next generation. We now see their love that's come from a very different place, but is still thriving and thriving as a family. Richard, I mean, obviously for you, you come back into this as her husband. And I think time travel has always been a real element of see through the series. But here, it's kind of got this added feeling of urgency in terms of elements of your family as we move through this season. So what is that like? What is it like kind of going through these historical kind of different centuries, especially in this series, um, and sort of mixing with different characters? I mean, does that keep you more round as an actor? Obviously, because it's you've been in it for such a long time. So it must be quite nice to kind of step into these different historical eras. What's that like for you this season? Yeah, of course it is. Um, in terms of the kind of urgency that you're talking about, I think that's something that happens kind of an episode or two in potentially. Um, but the change of scenery, the change of time, it's like, I mean, the good thing about a period drama anyway is a lot of your work's done for you. A lot of your work as an actor is to imagine your place, your time, your you know your relationships, your circumstances. Um, but when you've got such incredible design, such incredible um, uh, sets and, 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 and settings, then it, it kind of hip really helps you into it. It's, it's, it's always an enjoyable thing for an actor to have your environment essentially custom made for you. So we're getting a costume, or if we're shooting on back lots, or places like um, when we were doing um, was it Williamsburg? Is that what it's called? Mm. We're doing the town. No, what's it called? I can't remember. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the amount of detail that goes into our, our set building um, and our location Wilmington. scouting, Williamton, um, Wilmington. Wilmington. Yeah, sorry. I think there's a Williams or a Wilmington, Wilmington yeah. somewhere. But it's um, it's just always it's, it's just much easier to immerse yourself in that um, because so much consideration has been given to where the characters are and where the story plays out that it's just it's a lot of fun. It's like, you know, it's like kind of like dressing up, isn't it? And that's kind of what we do for a large part as an actor and it's kind of like that thing that's always so enjoyable about, about, enjoyable about our part of the job is just kind of jumping in there and, and, and playing in a, an already amazing kind of set up location and, and time. So yeah, jumping about from time to time and place to place and location to location gives you <laughs> gives you quite a lot to chew on as an actor. It's great, it's fun. I can imagine. And and obviously, so few of you, I think this season feels a little bit slower paced because we really dig into your family and, and those extra kind of layers. Um, and so it's a little bit slower. What did you enjoy about filming this season and what are you hoping fans will kind of enjoy most about this particular season seven? <laughs> See, I feel like the season really hits the ground running. I think, um, you know, Brianna and Roger are pregnant, like you said, and they have their baby quite early on in the season. And that's really the catalyst for the rest of the season and where the season goes. So I think it's kind of um, like horse right out of the gates from the off. But I mean, my favorite thing with the season was just playing a completely different version of Brie. She is older, more mature now. She is a mother. And that's a really... Um, really fun thing to to play with and navigate and working with kids so much. I've worked with the children a lot this season and that adds its own complications and challenges, but it's also super rewarding. Um, 
And I guess, yeah, just kind of seeing our job through younger eyes as well and helping them navigate their way through through the system on and off screen has just been um, a super cool, really cool thing for me. And Richard, I think obviously the season, you know, each each season is taken from Diana Gabaldon's books. Um, do you ever wonder, oh my God, how do you keep things fresh? I mean, do you go ahead and sort of have a look? at the next sort of thing you're doing because I know there's talk of it sort of wrapping up the season eight but who knows <laughs> but do you read the books kind of sort of plan the next thing that you're going to go into in this in this series not really um because 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 we don't know that necessarily we're going to strictly follow the book anyway plus we've got a little bit of overlapping happening um so Kind of did that at the start, you know, relied on the books, I think, more sort of to inform our characters, a bit of character development and just to get to know this character that, the, you know, that, that the fans are going to be anticipating. But to go ahead and read where we're going to go, I think if learned has not necessarily been helpful because you don't necessarily do that. Um, but what Diana has an amazing ability to just keep, it just can keep she keeps it fresh. Um, I mean, she it just feels like every every season is a very unique chapter in itself. So I never worry that it's going to be different. It's always different. We're always in a different place or a different time, as you've said. Um, and, you know, we start off the show as a, about Highland warriors and then we're in high society Paris and then we're talking about dealing with the slave trade and then we're in, you know, North Carolina and then we're talking about the American Revolution coming like that. You know, you, that's a, a huge thing that, that, that they've achieved, that, that Diana's achieved in her writing, is to keep all these huge elements at play in the one show. So um, it's always felt fresh. I've never felt like any sort of anxiety that it's going to be stale or that we're going to be in the same place because we won't be. I think that's something that we can always kind of count on in this show. And when you've got time travel, at least you know that if it's ever starting to feel like people are in one place for too long, the, you know, the right time to travel like, them off, off somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Let's give the viewers a new a new world to get immersed into, yeah. And I think, obviously for you, Sophia, I think we really see your independence and your strength grow as a woman, especially with your engineering skills in this season. Where would you like to see her go in through season eight? Through season eight? Uh, I mean, she goes on a pretty cool journey this season in terms of her career um, and a career that she can build for herself with the means and the time period that she's in. Um, and I think let's just, yeah, let's watch her she badass that for a little bit first. Get um, computers. That's where she needs to be, computing. Computing. That's where the money's going to be. Let's get her into like IBM or something. I think you're going to put Brianna to, yeah, Brianna's, Brianna's the red, red man. great at that. I know. And they'll both sit and they'll play the spectrum together. Then they're me. Um, I think Brianna gets to a very, very cool place in the career this season, and I think that the viewers and Brie are pretty satisfied with with where she ends up. So season eight, let's let's who knows, but for now she's um, she's killing it. Computer hardware company though, probably. Yeah, definitely IBM or something. I don't know what that is. It's a computer company. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for speaking to me. Congratulations Thank with it. And it's amazing. And thank you very much for talking to me. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.